it's free and welcome to this video blog episode of the soul growth it is friday the 13th and i am amped up energized and ready to conquer my day but you know what i wanted to make this video before i even went to work so that i could share with you what i the epiphany that i had this morning i am so amped up i wish you if you can't tell <laughs> so all right ask and you shall receive remember that you create your reality your thoughts always come into fruition just depends on how long you have those thoughts in your head and how much momentum and energy you give into them oh my gosh so this morning i was in the bed feeling bleh, so tired it's been such a long week and you know what i said oh my gosh i said i said a prayer i said look can i please have some energy to sustain and make it through this day i need it can you send it my way, please? And I fell back asleep and I woke up 15 minutes with this type of energy. OK, <laughs> so yesterday I was thinking about taking a course, a pranic healing course. And I said, you know what? Hmm. I thought about it in passing, but I didn't put any energy into it. I said, you know what? Let me think about it this way. I wrote it on my hand. Pranic It's still slightly there. And. I said, okay, I am going to say this. If this is of my highest and best good, I intend that this product healing course will come to me almost free of charge. I don't care where the money comes from. I don't care how it happens. I want this course if it is of my highest and purest good. And sure enough, I look into my bank account. Not only do I have my normal check, I have a bunch of extra little funds coming from somewhere. And I don't know where they're coming from, but who the heck cares? I was curious how this was going to work, and voila, within an hour, I started to see momentum. And this thought was a thought a day before, the day before that, but it was a small little thought. But this time, when I wrote it on my hand, every time I looked down at my hand, I said, I intend that this course, if it's for me, the money will come my way. I intend for it. And it happened. This is what I want you to know. You are worthy of great things. And what we tend to do is we tend to try to be self-sufficient. We try to create whatever it is that we want, but not with our minds, with our willpower, with our daily actions and all these other things. So I ask you, are you asking? Ask and you shall receive. Take the time to make sure that you ask. Because I know I have a horrible habit of not even attempting to ask. I just figure things out on my own. I just try to do it myself. I don't ask anybody for help. I just make it happen. Well, you know what? Ask and you shall receive. And I'm going to say that again. Ask and you shall receive. I know I've said it about 10 times already. But the importance of this message is strong. It's big. We don't ask. You are worthy. You deserve happiness. If you have children or if you had children, you have nieces and nephews, you want them to be happy, don't you? Guess what? God wants you to be happy. The divine wants you to be happy. The universe wants you to be happy. And the happier you are, the more momentum you build and positive energy you bring into you to create the things that you want even more. The, and it helps you to have gratitude and love in your heart. I am so grateful for the things that I have just seen unfold in this last day. And for everybody that's part of this age coalition, this is a great example of how we create our reality. So set intentions. Watch that video about living an intentional life that I posted a couple of weeks ago. And remember, you have the power. So you ready? Let's go.